Welcome back. Now, landowners settled in the disputed 25,000 farm situated in Kapseret in Iwasin Gishu County are living in uncertainty following a landmark ruling on Friday that gave ownership to Sirikwa squatters. As the squatters moved into part of the expanded farm, there was fear with a section of those who had already settled in the farm urging the court to clearly explain the fate of those who bought land that formerly belonged to the East African Tanning and Extract Company. Elvis Kosge tells us more. Led by former assistant minister and MP for Eldoret South, Jesse Mais, Landona said they paid for the land and expressed worry over losing their tracts following the Court of Appeal ruling in Kisumu. After the appellate court's ruling, the squatters comprising more than 500 families began subdividing part of the land into portions with others erecting makeshift structures in a move to reclaim the land. Mais claimed that with the court orders taking shape, the landowners were left in the dark in regards to the fate of the land. Something fishy we didn't know. Yes, it is easy to tell me whether I bought a the <laughs> Sasa tukanunua. Sasa tujui na nina hofu. Nina hofu kwa sababu sisi hatulali sasa. We are watching. Kwa sababu ni maktao ni jirani. Tunaangalia vile inakuja. Niko na map. Mbae inaonyesha. Ine laini ya LR number. Eh? Kwa hizo blocks tisa. Sasa yangu hiko hindi ya hiyo. Hata hiyo. Hiyo aishiki ya potena. Sababu ile laini ya LR the landowners who own acres of land within the disputed parcel to go to court and get clarification from the court as to the meaning of these individual titles and institutions set aside. Yeah? At the content, I say, I Sasa badai I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, so no, 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 expressed her family's displeasure in the Court of Appeals judgment and revealed that the family was heading to the Supreme Court. We have lived on this land ever since I was a child. My grandparents are buried here. My father is also buried here. Um, we know what transpired in the Court of Appeal, but it's very unfortunate that uh, the, the, the other party have decided to come to the farm and kind of invade the farm without a court order or an eviction order. As a family, we followed the law. We are headed to the Supreme Court um, to try and get what is right. My dad purchased the farm legitimately. Jennifer claims that those who have moved in have started destroying fences and also cutting trees. As much as these people may feel that they won in whatever way that they did, they don't have jurisdiction to cut down trees, you know, start making makeshift structures. Yet they don't have a court order. They don't have an eviction notice. I was able to get a squatter in the house and I was able to get a squatter in the house. However, the squatters have vowed to remain put. And actually, we are actually welcoming them to proceed to Supreme Court because it is their right. And we are ready for that big fight. When you sum up all those plots, actually, it's coming up to 25,000 acres. Now, there is also another subsequent order that actually 
the state law went to the ELC code and they apply for review of the judgment to an extent of actually removing all the public.